The Indian Space Research Organization has released new three-dimensional images from the moon's surface captured by Chandrayaan-2. The terrain mapping camera 2 of the orbiter captured images of a crater from the lunar surface. Well, that image is on your screen right now. It's the 3D view of a crater near Lindbergh. That's, the, that's what the caption on that photograph uh, says. These images have been captured by Chandrayaan 2. Shayan Sheikh joining me from the Mumbai newsroom. Shayan, I believe you have an understanding of how these images were released, what these images mean, how significant are they? Over to you. Yes, Afrida. Uh, ISRO has released these two images of 3D mapped images from the surface of the moon. Now, the first is that of a crater near Lindbergh. Now, the significance of these images is that these are really high resolution images clicked by TMC, the terrain mapping camera, which is on board the orbiter, which is currently orbiting somewhere around 100 kilometer, in a 100 kilometer orbit from the surface of the moon. So the significance of these images is that they are really high resolution and they will help us in resolving and making a 3D map of the moon. In 2008, Chandrayaan-1 also had a TMC, but this one, 11 years later, is a much, much more advanced terrain mapping camera. Yes. Uh, so the first image is of a crater uh, close to Lindbergh. Now this crater may look small in this image, but the estimated diameter is somewhere between 1600 to 1800 kilometers. That's how wide it is. Uh, it's almost 1.5 kilometers deep as well. It's a huge, huge crater. And this image has helped us in resolving this crater to a really, really uh, high detail. The other image is that of a ridge. Now, the significance of this ridge, again, this looks really small in the image, but this ridge has been formed because of lava that has cooled down over hundreds of years. This might roughly be around 100, 200 kilometers in length. So mapping this ridge must have been a challenge for Chandrayaan. There were at least a thousand images that have been clubbed together on top of one another, processed, and then we have this image of the ridge. So two really cool images that ISRO has put out. Back to you. Right, Shan. So, you know, in that sense, then, uh, would it be fair to say that even though Chandrayaan 2 was not a completely successful mission, but look what we have. These are exclusive pictures of the surface of the moon. Uh, a lot of people who have interest in studying uh, India, uh, the, the satellite, Earth satellite, would take a lot of uh, probably information as well from these images. Uh, is that something that can, in a way, say that Chandrayaan 2, after all, has yielded some important information, some important pictures like the ones you have shown us? Indeed, Afrida, Chandrayaan-2 cannot be called a failure because ISRO themselves stated that the mission is still 95% of the mission is, still remains. Just the lander probably and the rover uh, were crash landed, but the orbiter still remains. And there are a lot of these gadgets on board the orbiter, something like the TMC, which will help us in 3D mapping the moon to a really, really high resolution. So yes, uh, Chandrayaan clearly has a lot of uh, other objectives and the mission still continues. I'm sure ISRO yes. will be coming out and sharing much more clearer and uh, cooler images with us. Absolutely. And this is uh, India's contribution to the world in that sense, ISRO's contribution to be more specific. Thanks, Shan, for joining us.